thank you for the invaluable experiences you've shared with me today. I consider this mission fully accomplished. It's Persona 3 for the Sony PSP. Originally released in 2006 for the PlayStation 2, this is widely regarded as one of the best Japanese role-playing adventure-style games ever created, but what makes it so good? Well, not just any one thing, a lot of things. This is part of the Shin Megami Tensei series, and if you're familiar with these games, you already know. But if you're not familiar, the easy way to explain this is that they're the most glorified dungeon crawlers imaginable. They have intriguing stories, a cool leveling up process, demons, or in this case, personas, that can be fused together to make more powerful, creative, bizarre, weird, and awkward personas that act as your magic spells during combat. The Shin Megami Tensei games are just some of the most creative, fun, and playable role-playing style adventure games ever made. They seem imposing at first, but after you've played one or two of them, they're, they're just awesome. Albeit bizarre, and Persona 3 just knocks the strange out of the stadium. Because your characters use evokers to activate their personas in battle, which just happen to look like pistols that they're shooting themselves in the head with. If you play the game, you'll be bombarded with what could potentially be some uncomfortable imagery, so parents, heed the rating on this one, which is mature. The Shin Megami Tensei games are known for being drenched in gallons of style. But beneath the creativity is your basic JRPG style adventure game. There's dungeon crawling, there's grinding, there's leveling up, there's hundreds and thousands of things to destroy and end bosses. What's happening to me? In addition to that is a complex plot involving the dark hour and additional hour in the day that none of us know about. Did you know that after midnight we all just turn into coffins for an hour? If you're out of your coffin, you'll be attacked by the shadows, so stay in. Unless you have the special powers like these teenagers, who are all of course incredibly charming and good looking, and have active high school social lives. In fact, your social life plays an integral part in Persona 3, as you develop social links with other characters that enable you to create more powerful personas. So not only are you slaying the demons or shadows or whatever, but you're also doing things like joining the student council, having lunch with your dorky friend who's hitting on one of his teachers, and playing an MMORPG and making fake friends for real in a fake game. It's, it's not real. Or is it? Nah, it's not. Now wait, maybe it is. On such days you will face your greatest challenges. You must prepare for the ordeal. But time is of the essence. I'm sure you're aware of that, of course. Get this weird kid out of my room. You are on a clock in this game. If time runs out, your PSP melts and turns into a Game Boy. So you have to win before that or you'll be stuck playing Excite Bike for the rest of eternity. Also, the universe implodes and, I don't know, basically there's a lot on your shoulders. Not only do you have to manage a busy social life, student council, and flirting with various girls in high school and the uh, cute chick from the Velvet Room, but you have to increase your stats, your social links, and most importantly, become better in combat. Or else some of the later levels will chew you up and spit you out. Sound familiar? Yeah, it's a JRPG. It just happens to be a lot more stylish than most of them. Also, things that you say affect the storyline. For those of you who have already beaten the game on PlayStation 2, there is another character that you can play in the PSP release. 
A young lady, a female hero, which opens up different storyline possibilities. I have not tried that version yet. It recommends just starting with the guy, which is what I'm doing here. One thing I like about this game is that instead of dragging you through hours of subpar animation, most of the story is told through pictures and text. Ah, it's like Dark City, except instead of swapping places with people, you just end up in a coffin. This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. You don't end up in a coffin, though, because you've got the persona. Touch characters slide on and off this screen. There's some decent, well-recorded voice acting. And this game is incredibly well-directed, one of the reasons it's so popular. The storyline just moves along and totally hooks you. But in addition to the story, get ready for some dungeon crawling and grinding. Enemies detected. Persona! The grinding in Shin Megami Tensei games is better than most, though, because of the personas or demons. As you level your characters up, you're also leveling up your personas, and then you can fuse them together and unlock all of these different spells, which makes combat more interesting than the average JRPG. Overall, production value for this PSP version is fantastic. The controls are excellent. The whole, the whole game plays very well, works well, it's easy to read. There's numerous save points, and it makes for a terrific PSP release. Now, if you're already familiar with the Shin Megami Tensei games, you may find the first couple hours of this one to be a bit tedious because it's just, it's getting you into the game. And I think the first couple levels are built to get inexperienced players up to speed. Experienced players may just use that time to start fusing as much as possible and enter the bigger battles later in the game with some real kick-ass personas. If you think this looks cool, check out the other games in this series. There's a number of them for a variety of game consoles like the Nintendo DS and PS2. Games like Devil Summoner 2, Devil Survivor, the first Persona, and one of my favorites, Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey on the DS. I have reviewed those games, and the music in Persona 3 is far better than the music in the first Persona. One major, major improvement. And what we're watching here really just scratches the surface of Persona 3. I'm a fan of this series, I'm very pleased with the quality of this release. And these games will take you quite some time to play. There's twists and turns and the combat just gets better and better. I cannot recommend Persona 3 highly enough if you enjoy creative, unique Japanese role-playing style adventure games. If you can put up with your characters repeatedly shooting themselves in the head and personas that look like the great pumpkin mixed with the cat in the hat, then you should check out Persona 3. You struck the enemy's weak point. Here's a chance. Let's get it. Get back here, you son of a... 